What is the ideal diet to lose weight, prevent premature wrinkles, aging, and chronic disease? What is the best breakfast, lunch, and dinner for women over 30? These are the questions I will answer in this video. We will also talk about what to eat at each meal and when. My name is Tanzilia. I'm a clinical nutritionist. In my work for the last 10 years, I've helped women to look younger, live longer, and eat for beauty. So today I will reveal what is the best breakfast, the best lunch, and the best dinner for any woman in her 30s and beyond. These meals will help prevent early aging, wrinkles, and diseases. And as you probably know, prevention of diseases especially those associated with aging, is the best way to a healthy and productive life. And before we get into the main topic of today's video, I will explain why I make a distinction between different age groups. The reason for this is very simple. As you probably know, creating every woman's right nutrition plan is a very individual process. And this largely depends on your hormonal balance, lifestyle, type of work, age, and sometimes genetics. And all of this is because the body of a woman begins to age after 25. So if you continue to eat the way you were eating when you were in your 20s, or if you try to follow the diet of popular 20-year-old models, then it will most likely hurt you more than it will help you. One of the problems that women share with me is the absence of menstruation. Why? Because they follow the example or the advice of young women, or even worse, the advice of men. As a result, they have been missing their periods for a considerable amount of time. So we had to work together for at least three months in order to restore their hormonal balance and thereby their menstruation. Therefore, the diet of women over 30 or even 27, 28 years old should be different from the diet of 20 year old girls. Even more so, it should be different from the diet of men. So if you follow the advice of men and it doesn't work for you, then don't be surprised. And this also applies to the diet of women over 40 or even 37, 38, when a woman approach their perimenopause or menopause phases. If you do not pay attention to this, then you will most likely experience early signs of aging as well as risk of developing serious chronic diseases such as diabetes, cancer, heart problems, and many other diseases associated with natural changes in your hormonal balance. And I learned it first of all from working with my clients. I discovered very early in my practice that nutritional recommendations for my clients in their 60s needed to be somewhat different from what I was recommending to my clients in their late 20s and 30s. And later, of course, it was proven by my own experience as I had to slightly modify my own nutrition plan as I got older. So what I eat now, approaching my 50s, is different from what I ate in my 30s or even in my 40s. So this was a little introduction. If you agree with me on this topic, the need to adapt nutrition to your age and therefore your hormonal balance, as well as your lifestyle, let me know about it in the comments below. So let's move on to the main topic of today's video lesson. What is the ideal menu for any woman beyond 30 or, as I have already mentioned, perhaps even 27, 28 years old? And the good news is that after 30, you still can afford to expose yourself to some of the weaknesses you had while you were in your 20s. However, I will point out that this good news applies only to a healthy woman. If you feel like you are at the peak of your health and energy, if your blood tests are good and 
chronic diseases are absent. But if you know that you have some problems with your health, like allergies, diabetes, chronic fatigue, or any skin or weight issues, then in this case, I recommend you schedule a 60-minute consultation with me to create a personalized meal plan that will help you restore your health and energy levels for permanent and long-lasting results. The link for booking a private consultation with me can be found in the description of this video. So let's talk about the ideal menu for women over 30. The first question that I will answer right away is, should every meal contain all three macronutrients? And I will remind you that the three macronutrients are proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. So should every meal contain all three macronutrients? And my answer is no, it's not necessary. The important thing is that you have macronutrients present throughout the day so that your complete daily menu shall contain all three macronutrients, which are proteins, fats, and carbs. For example, if you have carbs for your lunch, then you may have proteins for dinner or vice versa. If you have proteins for lunch, then you can have carbs for dinner and so on, depending on your lifestyle, physical activity, etc. The next question is, how much should you eat? And I will answer this question in detail when we will talk about each meal separately. Also, at the end of today's video, I will talk about what kind of foods I recommend every woman eliminate after 30. So let's begin with breakfast. What should we eat for breakfast? Breakfast is considered one of the most important meals because it breaks the overnight fasting, kickstarts your metabolism and helps you burn calories throughout the day. It also replenishes your supply of glucose to boost your energy levels and alertness, while also providing other essential nutrients required for good health. Therefore, proper balanced nutrition during breakfast is the key to excellent health and endurance throughout the day. But despite all this, do I agree with the proverb that says, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, dinner like a beggar. Do I agree with this principle? I actually don't. And let me remind you that in the history of mankind, the lives of kings were short-lived compared to the poorer population. Many have probably heard of a disease called gout. Well, gout has long been considered a disease of kings and aristocrats. So if you want to live a long and healthy life, then I would not recommend having breakfast like a king, especially if you are a woman and not a professional athlete. Therefore, the main recommendation that I give all my clients is the importance of incorporating a morning drink on an empty stomach. The classic morning drink is one or two cups of warm water with lemon juice. If you want to diversify your morning drinks or you're tired of plain water, then be sure to check out my video, five morning drinks to start your day. You will find a link to it in the description below. The next step after you have had your morning drink after about 20 to 40 minutes, you can have your breakfast. And for me, the two basic principles for a healthy breakfast are first of all, to assist your body in its cleansing functions, which our body naturally does during sleep. And the second important function of breakfast is to replenish our body with the necessary nutrients and macronutrients as much as possible. Depending on your lifestyle and what direction you choose in your nutrition, whether you eat animal products or not, you can choose both vegetable or animal foods for your protein intake. It can be a vegetable source of protein such as seeds, nuts, and greens, or if you prefer animal products and you have a strenuous physical activity, you can also add some eggs or seafood in your breakfast. For healthy fats, you can add unrefined oils, nuts, seeds, avocados, or coconut oil. 
And for carbohydrates, there are several options. Vegetables and leafy greens, as well as whole grains, such as buckwheat or quinoa, which will also be a source of fiber and protein. How much should you eat? As much as you need to feel satisfied. The classic portion of any meal is one to three feasts. Again, it's very individual and depends on your lifestyle. What foods I don't recommend for breakfast? Any muesli or instant cereals are not on my recommended list. The ideal breakfast, in my opinion, should not consist of fast carbs. What is the perfect breakfast that I would recommend for any woman over 30? After having had a morning cleansing drink, the perfect breakfast, in my opinion, is a green smoothie or a chia seed pudding. A green smoothie can contain all three macronutrients. This is our proteins. For example, spinach is an excellent source of protein and fiber. Healthy fats like avocados and for carbs, we can add fruits, which are also a great source of fiber. And if after a green smoothie, you still feel that you are not satisfied, you can additionally add a chia seed pudding. You can find my recipes for green smoothies and chia seed pudding on this channel or my website. You will find the links in the description below. Next is lunch. What shall we have for lunch? A nutritionally balanced and enjoyable lunch is certainly an important meal that affects your well-being, mood and energy levels. Again, your choice of lunch largely depends on your lifestyle active or sedentary. Based on your choice, lunch can consist of other proteins or complex carbohydrates. The only thing you can add to your proteins or carbohydrates is plant-based foods, which are an excellent source of fiber. How you feel after lunch will tell you whether it was a good choice or not. If you feel sleepy after your lunch, then you will need to look for something better to eat. Because if you compensate for a poorly balanced meal with several cups of coffee, then sooner or later serious health issues, including signs of early aging, will begin to appear. So let me remind you that the basic principle here is to not mix proteins with carbs. They must be kept separate. For example, if you have quinoa for your lunch, then it should not contain meat or any other animal food. The only things you can add to your quinoa are vegetables and salads. Another great option is soup. It can be a vegetable soup, cooked or raw as you prefer, and soups are a great source of fiber and will fill you up until the evening. Just a quick reminder, vegetables should not be overcooked. What could a well-balanced lunch look like? It could be quinoa with lightly steamed vegetables and a green salad. And of course, I strongly recommend including fermented vegetables to your meal. To learn more practical ways on how to look younger, restore your beauty, health and energy, join me for the series of four video lessons, Principles of Optimal Health, Beauty and Energy, which is still available for registration. It's free and I will share the link in the description of this video. Dinner. What should we eat for dinner? Dinner, ideally, as I emphasized earlier, should be different from your lunch when considering macronutrients. If you had carbohydrates for lunch, let's say quinoa, then in the evening it would be better to have proteins, for example, fish or seafood or meat if you prefer that. Again, I always recommend adding plant-based foods to all your meals, be it leafy greens, salads, steamed or fermented vegetables. Also, as sources of fat, choose only unrefined oils and seeds. These principles will help you feel satisfied faster and also help your digestion. Should you pay attention to the calorie counts for your food? Maybe only if you are a professional athlete. If not, then it's enough to follow the principles that I have just shared 
in this video. A well-balanced dinner might look something like this. Steamed fish with a green salad, as well as some fermented vegetables with olive oil. Remember that dinner should be no later than 3-4 hours before bedtime, especially if you have trouble with sleeping, because during the night your body must restore itself and not be busy with digestion of food. How much time should there be between meals? Again, the question is very individual, it depends on your lifestyle and work. The basic principle to which I would draw your attention is to not eat if you are not hungry. And make sure you drink enough liquid or water between your meals to quench your thirst. Very often people mistakenly think they feel hungry when they actually are thirsty. So if you're not sure if you are hungry, drink a glass of water first. And only after that, if you still feel hungry, then you can eat. What foods are recommend to eliminate for every woman after age of 30? I have already mentioned some of these foods in one of my previous videos, so I highly recommend, I recommend you to watch this first. But today I will just remind you that, first of all, I don't recommend eating pasteurized dairy products of animal origin. Unfortunately, scientists have found a direct relationship between pasteurized dairy products and breast cancer in women. Therefore, pasteurized dairy products of animal origin should be excluded from any woman's diet if she wants to prevent serious diseases such as breast cancer. You can substitute them with plant-based milk, which recipes you can find on my website or on this channel. I will add the links to my recipes in the description of this video. Next, I advise you to avoid any sausages in case you eat animal products. And also, after 30, I advise you to be careful with gluten products such as bread or sweet pastries. You need to try to slowly switch to gluten-free foods and, for example, if you like sweet pastries, then I advise you to slowly replace your cakes with raw food desserts. And yes, I would not recommend to have a dinner at fast food restaurants. So if you have a dinner with your colleagues, then try to choose more decent places where you can order a healthy dish for your meal. Remember that you are no longer 20 years old, so fast food should be completely excluded from the diet of any woman over 30. So these were simple recommendations for creating an ideal plan menu for any woman after 30 years old to lose weight, prevent early wrinkles, aging, and chronic diseases. In one of my next videos about how to look younger, live longer, and eat for beauty, I will talk in more details about the ideal menu plan for women in their 40s and beyond. For a more personalized menu plan on your journey towards optimal health, beauty, and longevity, please schedule a private consultation with me via the link below this video. And if you want to learn more about how to look younger, live longer, and eat for beauty, join me for my free video training, Principles of Optimal Health, Beauty, and Energy. In this series of four video lessons, I share the main principles for achieving optimal levels of beauty, health, and energy that will help you not only to look younger, but also reverse aging. I also share practical steps and recipes so that you can start to clear your skin, balance your weight, and restore your beauty and health naturally. So follow the link below this video and watch the series of four video lessons. I will also share information on how you can work with me via my program Mastery of Optimal Health, Beauty and Energy as well. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. And if you have a friend or family member that you know needs extra support on their way 
the optimal health, beauty and longevity, please send them this video. I would love to support them on this journey. See you in my next video.